I was 18 when I, when I looked through a telescope. Bah. And the first thing I saw was Saturn. Yeah, great. Getting there, getting there. I think I just heard a drill. I hope that stopped. Nah. Well, what's up guys? Yep, you guessed it. Today we are talking about the virtual 3-minute thesis. This year 3-minute thesis is definitely a bit of a strange year because instead of uh, going out there talking to the audience in some auditorium you know, in front of a thousand people, you just kind of hang out of your room and hit record button over and over and over. Yeah, this is the first year that every university in Australia or actually in the entire Asia Pacific as far as I understand is doing virtual 3MT which means everything is done on the camera in the era of YouTube, of Facebook, of social media being able to efficiently deliver your point through these devices is also a skill, I think. This year, a lot of people were deterred away by the tech, maybe because they're afraid of having to set up things to film themselves. I think that's a bit of a sad thing because this is not this is not what 3-minute thesis should be about. Since I have just won the ANU 3-minute thesis, I thought I would show you around my setup and I even give you a wider angle to show what you might be able to accomplish in a very small space like in my accommodation just ignore this corner um, these are my snacks disclaimer all the gears that you're about to see you shouldn't have to buy them just for three minutes this is the reason i have all of this stuff because photography is my side gig i will also be sharing with you how you could film yourself with all the things you already have for example your phone your window light um yeah Sorry, this episode is unscripted, unlike my three-minute thesis speech. And yep, I'm in pajamas because I think it's the most optimal way to get work done while being at home, is being comfortable and get work done at the same time. And um, Osgraph is not sponsoring this episode, but they pay my salary, so I thought I would give them a shout out. If you're interested in joining our collaboration um, to search for black holes, study black holes and neutron stars, and um, do some R and Ding with the future generations gravitational wave detectors, I'll, I'll post the link to their website below so you can check them out. If you are a college student looking to pursue your PhD. Osgraph is pretty well funded guys. Without further ado, let me grab my spare camera real quick so I can show you around a little bit. Well, here we go. This is my camera. It's a Sony A7 III, not a cheap camera. Again, uh, photography is my side gig. I bought a monitor to attach to it because Sony A7 III doesn't have a flippy screen. This way I know how I look in the frame. And I only look at the frame once and that's it. The rest of the time, as I was giving my speech, I looked right into the beast of the lens. If you don't have a camera like this, it is not required, I would say, because the clip that you submit will be live streamed through Zoom anyway and the quality of pictures on Zoom are not that grandiose. So no matter how high of a quality of your picture coming out this camera, it's gonna be downgraded. For the low budget option, I would suggest using your phone and maybe just like invest in this um, a $20 grippy thing and just hook it up to a tripod. Especially if you have a roommate that can help film you, I highly recommend using the back camera of your phone because that one usually have a better quality and by quality in this case I just mean higher dynamic range so you don't look too white on one side of your face and too dark on the other side of your face moving on to our next item is the microphone where is my hand this is a microphone this is a Rode video mic pro plus which is recently came out and I only bought this uh, because I was gonna vlog more often. The same reason why I bought the monitor actually so I can frame myself during my vlog. This is not a cheap mic and you shouldn't have to get this mic for your recording. But I think the microphone is the most crucial part of your virtual three minute thesis because if your sound quality is so distorted that nobody can understand you it is a waste of your time you're putting all your effort giving that speech and nobody can understand you if you're gonna invest 
one thing invest the microphone i have been recording myself with my phone a lot actually and the sound quality coming out of the phone is not bad if you're not in a position to buy a new microphone but you already have a phone i also use your phone and moving on to our next item this is a uh, westcott reflective umbrella this is um, 110 centimeters it is literally just an umbrella as you can see with um, no handle the inside is uh, a soft reflective surface don't get the silver one guys uh, the silver one is a bit harsh on your face get a get a soft white one with a black cover on the other side because this way the light wouldn't spill if you are going to invest in this stuff um, which you shouldn't have to I like to emphasize that and I have two uh, aperture LED panels and that is it for the lightning and for the alternative for the lightning in the future if your school is still not gonna be providing this stuff just stand next to the window uh, maybe put a piece of cloth on top of your window if the light is harsh outside so your face don't look so shadowy you want a soft light source and the window light is great but it has to be modified just a little bit so if you can find like a big piece of white cloth and just like thumb tag it to the wall and then just let it drop across your window and that's it i mean that's you you can create a soft light that way and i recommend a white piece of cloth because then the light that comes through this cloth is actually white and it just help out your camera in terms of white balance so your skin don't look too weird you know if you have orange cloth or orange blind like I do in my accommodation your face is just gonna look really orange another one of the requirement I think is that you have to film yourself in front of the plain background and this is what I have in terms of backdrop this is a uh, this is a two meter collapsible backdrop it's uh, it's white on the other side and it's black on one side my focus definitely having trouble here yeah and this is uh, this is two meters wide this way it is about this big I think the plain background is not as true as people think. I mean, look around like this is my room and okay, there's that wall that is plain, but my bed is in the way and there is not really enough plain wall. If your accommodation is small, you're not gonna have that much plain wall space. We talk about the camera, we talk about the microphone, we talk about the light, and we talk about the backdrop. I'll post the link to all of these things down below in the comments. So if you guys wanna check them out again, you shouldn't have to buy them, but these equipments are sometimes useful for, you know, filming yourself for whatever reason. I mean, it doesn't have to be 3MT. And the challenge, yeah. While it's true that being in your room is kind of nice and cozy, but depending on where you live, as you can see at the beginning of the video, there, there could be interruptions. A lot of interruptions, actually. During the night, I am afraid to talk too loudly. During the day, there's uh, maintenance going on around here. So it has its own kind of challenge, filming yourself at home. I hope that's useful, guys. Um, If you find this video useful, help me out by just like and subscribe so that YouTube may pay for my my coffee and instant noodles in the future if you have any questions on things that i haven't talked about or did talk about any questions really please comment down below and i'll try my best to answer all of them as always guys thank you for watching and um i'll see you next time So my turn was over, I was the first one. Even though the clip was submitted, I was still very excited like watching myself talk on the laptop. I don't know, it was so strange. So the presentation's over, all the 11 contestants have delivered a speech and uh, judges are making decisions. Uh, the suspense. Judges are back. Um, that was a very so big, silent round of applause for all of you. <laughs> So the winner today of the ANU 3 Minute Thesis 2020 $5,000 Research Support Grant is Natsini Gilgunchu. Oh shit, I won! Big, big clapping, yay! Yes! <laughs> um, Natsini, from all of her 